We talk a lot about bad managers in yeah. HR. Are bad managers just bad managers, or is there a context to the chemistry of personalities that created Ish a bad manager? Uh, are you asking whether we can do something with them? Yeah. You can do something with them, but the number one thing you can do is avoid hiring them or avoid promoting them. You know, it's Good either. I, I always say. If selection fails, there's always training, coaching, and development. It's, it's and if that fails... Think about football, you know? Mm -hmm. If you hire a crappy player, how long do you want to... Fernando Torres in Chelsea, yeah, he was good, but how long are you going to keep him just because he costs 50 million pounds? Yeah. Just change him. Yeah. Get a young guy who costs five, and he'll do the job better. That's know? right. And so it's the same with managers. Uh, there is... Uh, you know, I mean, think about two key dimensions. A dimension of potential, mm -hmm. and most companies suffer from being utterly unaware, unaware or incapable of recognizing leadership potential. Right. They confuse Agreed. individual career success, which is the ability to screw your colleagues, right. to navigate the politics upwards, to get where you want to get, and leadership talent, which is the ability to build and maintain high-performing teams. Yeah. You know. So they don't know that. And then the second element in which, uh, or dimension in which managers vary is coachability. Mm -hmm. Regardless of how good or crap managers are, some are more coachable than others. Right. And, uh, you know, so you can train anybody, but in some cases it requires a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of effort, and it's just not worth it. Yeah. If you do good selection, it will save you millions of dollars.